about 66 million years ago, planet Earth was under the absolute dominion of dinosaurs. These giants, ruling supreme on land, in the air, and in the seas, were the apex of millions of years of evolution. Life thrived in a vast and diverse world, where dense forests and swamps stretched as far as the eye could see. It was a period of dynamic balance, where predators and prey shaped an incredibly complex ecosystem. But then, something unimaginable occurred. A massive meteor, approximately 10 kilometers in diameter, the size of a small modern city, appeared in the sky as an intense and menacing light. Traveling through the atmosphere at unimaginable speeds, it generated shockwaves so intense that many animals likely heard it before it arrived. When it finally struck what is now known as the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico, the impact unleashed a primal and devastating force. The impact released energy equivalent to billions of atomic bombs, far surpassing any natural event in Earth's history. The ground shook, cracks opened for hundreds of kilometers, and the Chicxulub crater, over 180 kilometers wide, was instantly formed. The collision created temperatures so extreme that rocks, trees, and even nearby animals were vaporized on the spot. The sky, once bright and blue, was overtaken by a wave of fire and ash that seemed to extinguish the day. The energy of the impact triggered colossal tsunamis that traveled thousands of kilometers, engulfing entire continents. Shockwaves spread through the Earth's crust, awakening dormant volcanoes in distant parts of the globe. Winds at tremendous speeds swept across the surface, toppling entire forests like rows of dominoes. This was the moment when the clock of the dinosaur era began ticking its final minutes. However, as would soon become evident, the impact itself was merely the prelude to an even more devastating series of events. The true tragedy would unfold in the hours, days, and years that followed. It wasn't just the meteor's force that marked the end of an era, but the chain of global events that would forever reshape Earth. That day's collision didn't just destroy, it rewrote the history of life on the planet. The initial impact, instantaneous destruction. The moment the meteor collided with Earth was one of the most violent and transformative events in the planet's history. The energy released by the impact was equivalent to approximately 10 billion Hiroshima-sized atomic bombs, a destructive force that surpassed any volcanic eruption, earthquake, or natural event prior. The collision, which occurred at a velocity of around 20 kilometers per second, turned the ground of the Yucatan Peninsula into a cauldron of molten rock and ash, instantly creating the massive Chicxulub Crater over 180 kilometers wide and 20 kilometers deep. 
Near the impact site, destruction was absolute and immediate. Everything within a radius of hundreds of kilometers was vaporized instantly by the heat wave. Entire forests vanished in seconds, reduced to ashes and charcoal. Animals living in the region were obliterated before they could comprehend what was happening. The pressure of the impact was so intense that even the rocks in the ground were compressed, forming rare minerals like shocked quartz and iridium, which would become geological evidence of the catastrophe millions of years later. The impact generated a colossal shockwave that traveled through the Earth's crust at incredible speeds. This shockwave was felt across the globe, causing earthquakes that surpassed 11 on the Richter scale, something unimaginable in modern times. Entire mountains trembled, and deep fissures opened across the planet's surface. Even regions thousands of kilometers away were affected, with the ground shaking violently and volcanoes being roused from dormancy. The energy of the impact hurled billions of tons of molten rock and soil fragments into the atmosphere. These incandescent fragments, upon re-entering the atmosphere, ignited forests across the globe. Flames consumed entire swaths of vegetation, turning Earth into a global furnace. The extreme heat elevated surface temperatures to unbearable levels, killing not only large animals, but also microorganisms and vulnerable plants. The impact also displaced colossal amounts of water, generating tsunamis that swept across continents. Waves over 100 meters high traveled thousands of kilometers, destroying everything in their path. Oceans, once rich in biodiversity, became fields of devastation, with reefs destroyed and countless marine species swept away and crushed by the relentless force of the water. Beyond the immediate destruction on the surface, the impact had catastrophic consequences for the atmosphere. Tons of dust, sulfur, and other debris were thrown into the skies, blocking sunlight and creating a total darkness. This barrier of particles would eventually trigger the so-called nuclear winter. But in those first moments, Earth resembled an alien world, a planet shrouded in fire, smoke, and desolation. The sky that darkened the nuclear winter. After the devastating meteor impact, the initial chaos quickly turned into a prolonged global disaster. Billions of tons of dust, ash, rock fragments, and sulfur were ejected into the atmosphere, forming an opaque layer that spread across the planet. This barrier nearly completely blocked sunlight, plunging Earth into a suffocating darkness. For months, or even years, daylight was reduced to a faint glow, resembling an eternal twilight. This atmospheric curtain of particles initiated what scientists call a nuclear winter, a period of extreme cold and dramatic changes to global ecosystems. With sunlight blocked, surface temperatures plummeted drastically. Geological studies suggest that, in some regions, temperatures dropped by tens of degrees in just a few weeks. Tropical areas, once lush and warm, were transformed into cold and desolate landscapes. The poles, already cold, became almost uninhabitable. This sudden climatic shift affected all life forms dependent on heat and seasonal stability for survival. The absence of sunlight interrupted one of the most essential processes for life on Earth. Photosynthesis. Without solar energy, 
plants could not convert carbon dioxide into oxygen and glucose, halting the production of food that sustained herbivores and, consequently, carnivores. Entire forests withered, verdant fields turned into barren landscapes, and oceans, where algae and phytoplankton performed their own photosynthesis, lost their foundational food sources. The collapse of plants was the first domino to fall in a chain of events that led to the extinction of millions of species. Herbivores that relied on plants for food, such as the iconic sauropod dinosaurs, had no means of survival. Many of these animals required hundreds of kilograms of vegetation daily and began dying en masse within weeks. The decline of herbivores was rapid and catastrophic, leaving carcasses scattered everywhere. However, for carnivores, these bodies provided only a temporary food source before their own demise. Large predators, such as Tyrannosaurus rex, initially survived by feeding on the dead herbivores. Yet, the absence of living prey and the rapid decay of carcasses made long-term survival impossible. Within months, even the most resilient carnivores faced starvation and extinction. Smaller predators, relying on more abundant prey, were also unable to escape the collapse. The nuclear winter didn't only affect the land, the oceans suffered tremendously as well. The lack of sunlight interrupted the photosynthesis of marine algae and phytoplankton, which formed the base of the marine food chain. With the death of these tiny organisms, aquatic herbivores like certain fish and mollusks began to disappear. Larger species, including marine reptiles and top predators, met the same fate. The acidity of the oceans, exacerbated by gases released during the impact, only accelerated the mass extinction. Beyond blocking sunlight, atmospheric particles carried sulfur compounds that reacted with moisture to form sulfuric acid. Acid rain fell over Earth, poisoning lakes, rivers, and soils. Animals that survived the initial impact faced a hostile environment where clean water became scarce and food sources were contaminated. Months after the impact, Earth became a silent and desolate world. The roars of dinosaurs gave way to the sound of wind sweeping across vast expanses of dead land. Temperatures remained low, and the persistent darkness created an almost alien environment. The few survivors, small mammals, smaller reptiles, primitive birds, and some amphibians, faced extreme challenges finding shelter and food amidst the cold and devastation. After one or two years, the dust and particles began to settle slowly. Sunlight gradually penetrated the atmosphere, warming the planet once again. However, the damage had already been done. Earth had lost approximately 75% of its species, including all non-avian dinosaurs. Global Volcanic Eruptions The meteor's impact triggered a cascade of catastrophic events that extended beyond the initial explosion and its immediate atmospheric consequences. One of the most devastating chain reactions was the intensification of large-scale volcanic eruptions, particularly in the Deccan Traps region of present-day India. These volcanic formations, already active before the collision, began expelling even greater volumes of magma, ash, and toxic gases, further exacerbating the global climatic crisis caused by the impact. The volcanic eruptions prolonged and intensified the effects of the so-called nuclear winter, contributing to an atmosphere increasingly hostile to life. As the impact shook Earth's crust, it released immense seismic energy, reverberating around the planet like giant waves. These waves struck tectonically unstable zones like the Deccan Traps, formed by a series of deep fissures in the crust. 
Through these fissures, massive lava flows erupted, covering vast stretches of land. During this period, layers of lava hundreds of meters thick accumulated, forming massive plateaus that still exist today. The heat and pressure from these eruptions also released astronomical quantities of carbon dioxide, sulfur, and other gases into the atmosphere, creating a combined greenhouse effect that further destabilized the global climate. In addition to the direct impact of the particles released into the atmosphere, sulfur dioxide emissions from these eruptions reacted with water vapor to form sulfuric acid. Acid rain corroded soils, devastated forests, and polluted rivers and lakes, creating an inhospitable environment for life, already struggling to survive the cold and darkness caused by the meteor's impact. The interaction of these gases with the atmosphere not only further blocked sunlight, but also altered the atmospheric chemical composition for a long time, delaying ozone layer recovery and extending global cooling. These large-scale volcanic eruptions amplified the cascade effect of the ongoing mass extinction. While the initial impact caused the immediate deaths of countless species, the continuous lava flows and gas emissions expanded the scope of devastation. Global temperatures fluctuated between extremes, with abrupt cooling periods alternating with warming spikes caused by the accumulation of carbon dioxide. This unstable climatic cycle devastated entire ecosystems, preventing surviving species from adapting to rapid and unpredictable changes. The impact of the volcanic eruptions dealt an additional blow, sealing the fate of many life forms on Earth, including the dinosaurs. If the meteor's impact was the catalyst that initiated the collapse, the volcanic eruptions were the hammer that reinforced its destructive force. This lethal combination of natural events created such an extreme environment that even the most resilient organisms struggled to survive. The interaction between the meteor impact and the Deccan Trap's volcanic eruptions showcased the overwhelming power of nature in reshaping life on Earth, leaving scars that can still be seen in today's geology and biodiversity. Emerging from this chaos was not just a transformed planet, but a new chapter in Earth's history, where life had to find innovative ways to endure and evolve.